Welcome everyone. Today is Monday, February 8th, 2021. Welcome to our new program, Prophetic Encouragement. Today I want to talk about 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 19. It says, God was with Samuel that none of his words dropped to the ground. That means everything Samuel spoke, it came to pass. Now, beloved, I have a question for you and I have a question for me. I have a question for all of us. What if God allowed that to happen to us? Under the covenant of the blood of goat and sheep, God was able to trust Samuel that every word he spoke came to pass. Now we have the covenant of the blood of Jesus. What if everything you spoke came to pass? What if God decides today, February 8, 2021, that Christians all over the world, that everything you spoke today came to pass? What would the world look like? If we are brutally and sincerely honest, let's be honest, 100%, we are 100% honest. Let's be 100% honest. That is, everything we spoke today came to pass. God granted Christians all over the world. So, okay, my people today, everything you speak will come to pass. If we are honest, I'm, at least I'm going, I'm going to confess for myself. If we are all honest, that within 24 hours, most Christians, majority, that within this 24 hours, we will destroy the world without the devil's help. Because most of us, we don't have control and any guard over our lips. If we are honest, now let's be honest. Our mouths run off. We don't have any control over our mouths. Our thoughts, our emotions, our desires just run off. Isn't it? But if God was able to allow Samuel, that every word Samuel spoke came to pass on the covenant of the blood of goat and sheep. We have a better covenant. Shouldn't we do better than Samuel? I want you to think, I want, I, I want you to think, I want you to be challenged. I want you to be provoked. This video is called Prophetic Encouragement. It is not to judge or to condemn or to finger point or to blame shift or to throw stones. It's for us to just get real deep, honest and sincere and begin to search our soul, search our spirit, search ourselves and look at the condition of the church. Individually, corporately, when I say the church, I'm talking about you. Because we know God doesn't live in temple built by men's hands. We know we are the temple of God. So when I say the church, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about me, individually. So what if God grant everything you spoke today, and God grant it to come to pass? Imagine what your life will look like. If you don't have any God over your lips, what would your life look like? If you have not controlled your mind and your emotions, to only speak what God wants spoken. What would your life look like? If everything you spoke today came to pass, what would your life look like? If Christians all over the world, if everything we spoke today came to pass, what would the world look like? Honestly, we would destroy the world without the devil's help. In 24 hours, Christians will wipe the whole world out. Think about it. We say a lot of things and then sometimes we say, oh, we are joking. But what you don't understand, in the spirit realm, angels and demons don't understand what joke is. They take your words to go and perform it. So make sure what you, even when you're joking, make sure it's in line, it's in alignment with the word of God. Whether you're speaking it over yourself, over your city, over somebody else, make sure it must be in alignment. Because angels and demons cannot decipher the difference whether you're joking or you're serious. Their job is to perform what you speak, good or bad. Because he said life and death is in your mouth. So if your situation around your life looks like death or represents something dead and stinking and barren, maybe, maybe it's time for you to take an inventory of the words you have been spoken, that you are speaking over yourself, excuse me. Or if your neighborhood or your city or your nation just looks wretched, maybe we have to begin to take an inventory of what have we been speaking over our individual lives and over the lives of the nation where we dwell, or the neighborhood, or the city, or the continent. Like I said, I'm not making this video for condemnation. I'm searching my own heart. And I'm just, I'm actually confessing. Look at it as I'm confessing to you. How's that? Because there are always people out there, they only look, they, they, look, they are a uh, fault finder. 
they want to find a fault or they will listen to all of your videos and let's say 90 percent they agree with it that 10 percent they don't agree with is the one who take and run with it the rest of the things you said that they agree they won't comment they will ignore it there's some people only comment when they disagree or they don't like something every other time that they say you say something they like they, will, they are speechless they are quiet this video is not for you it's for all of us who are willing to run our heart and run our garment. I'm starting with myself. I'm not pointing finger. I'm pointing all the finger at myself. And I'm just sharing and bearing my soul with you. That's all. That I'm making a plea to the body of Christ, starting with myself. That may we begin to put a God over our lips. Put a God over our eyes. Put a God over our heart. That the reason why the church, probably one of the reasons why the church does not have divine authority on our lips, maybe God cannot trust us with such divine authority. And if he did, we might destroy the world. Because our lips are loose. We have no control over our lips, our thoughts, our emotions, our desires. We just let it loose and we say all kinds of things in the name of, uh, are we joking? Oh, I didn't know, I didn't mean. Now, beloved, be very, I want you to be conscious. Emotionally, spiritually, be aware. Walk throughout this whole day. Through this Monday. Put this into practice every day for the next seven days. Because every day I come out with a, every week I come out with a new video called Prophetic Encouragement. This one is based on the scripture of First Samuel 3.19. So use these scriptures and meditate upon it every day for the next seven days. And just ask yourself, what would my life look like if everything I said today came to pass? What would my neighborhood look like if everything I spoke over my neighborhood came to pass? What would my city look like if everything I spoke over my city came to pass? Please excuse me, my little dog just kicked the camera. You know God's no amazing angel. Mm -hmm. What would my, my nation, the world, the church, individually, corporately, what would the body of Christ look like if everything we spoke came to pass? I want to challenge you. I'm taking on the challenge myself. I'm going to provoke you. I'm going to provoke myself. So, beloved, I want us to put aside our differences, our doctrinal differences, our ideologies, our teachings. Uh, let's just put that aside now. Let's begin to work. It's time for us to allow the Holy Spirit to work and do a deep work within our soul. And then the prayer point that I want to put at the end of this video, because the purpose of the prophetic encouragement is to give you some encouragement from the word of God with scriptures. And at the end, to have a prayer point that you can meditate, meditate upon the scripture every day for the next seven days and pray these prayer points out every day for the next seven days until I, re, I re, uh, record another prophetic encouragement. That's what it's called, prophetic encouragement. It's not that you just you listen to it and you say, oh, that was nice and you move on. No, I want you to meditate upon this. First Samuel 3 19. God was with Samuel. None of his words dropped. How come our words are dropping to the ground? How come we're speaking? We're all there. I proclaim, I declare, I decree. Nothing is happening. Why our words are dropping to the ground and Samuel's words didn't? Why God trusted Samuel with such divine authority, but he can't trust us with it? Under the covering of the blood and sheep, God trusted Samuel's words. Everything he spoke came to pass. God backed him up. While we have the covenant of the blood of Jesus and we are speaking, we proclaim, we declare, and we decree, and nothing's happening. And nobody's asking any question, Lord, what's going on? Why don't we seem to have divine authority upon our lips? Can God trust these lips with divine authority that is used to talk useless stuff, guide the gossip, idle chat, gossiping, backbiting, murmuring, spreading lies and rumors? Can that same lips be used as an instrument for God, as an oracle for God, as a loudspeaker for God, as a weapon for God? Now let's pray the prayer when I want us to pray. That Lord forgive me. I'm praying that for myself. And please write these prayer points that you need to. And say, God forgive me. Ever, forever in my life, if I have ever used my lips as an instrument of unrighteousness, forgive me Lord. Forgive me, Lord, for ever using my lips as an instrument of unrighteousness. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm giving you permission to put a guard over my lips. May I only speak what God wants spoken in the situation. May I not use my lips anymore going forward as an instrument of unrighteousness. God, put a guard over my lips. Give me divine authority, Lord. Trust me or teach me how to move in divine authority. Place your divine authority upon my lips. That like Samuel, none of my words will drop to the ground unfulfilled. Simple prayer point. 
simple scriptures, but meditate upon the scripture every day. What would my life look like if everything I spoke came to pass? What would my city look like? My neighborhood, my marriage, my household, your children, your husband, your wife, your business or businesses, your ministry, even your relationships with your fellow Christians. What would it look like if everything you spoke came to pass? Wouldn't you be very careful what you say? Wouldn't you even speak less? You will find yourself speaking less and less and less. Because if you knew everything you spoke came to pass, even when you're joking, you'll be careful. Even in the heat of anger or, or argument or debate, heat of passionate debate, you will be very careful. That if I speak this, it will come to pass. You will hold back a lot of words. A lot of idle chats will disappear on the earth. Because why? People are conscious now and aware that everything they speak will come to pass. They will speak less and less and less. That lesson is for me. It's not so. Don't think I'm judging you. That's a lesson for me to learn as well. I'm learning that I'm, I haven't perfected this. So when I'm learning in my private time and secret place, the Lord instructed me to do this video once a week, called the prophetic encouragement. It's to encourage you. It's to also challenge you. It's to also provoke you. It's to also rebuke you in love, beloved. I'm also challenged. I'm also provoked. I'm also rebuking myself. So please don't take this as a judgment call or a condemnation, but just an honest question that what will happen or what would my life look like if everything I spoke came to pass? And if you are consciously aware of that throughout your day, you'll be very mindful of what you say, even when you are joking and especially when you are angry or disappointed with somebody's behavior towards you, you will think twice, you will speak less. So, beloved, I hope something I said resonates with your spirit. You agree with it. And if you don't agree, it's okay too. I'm so beyond the point of arguing and debating and trying to even justify or explain why I'm, I'm tired. I'm done. I don't know if you don't know the time and season we're living in America and other parts of the world and you want to debate and argue and fault find and finger point and blame shift and throw stones. I'm beyond that. I won't engage with you. I will just either ignore your comments. Or if it's too disruptive, I will delete both you and your comments. To be very honest, I'm, I don't hate you. I'm not angry at you. But this is not a platform anymore for argument, debates, and uh, exchanges in ideologies. No. Go set up a platform and you can have your debate forum and run with it. This wasn't set up for such. I was set up to hear, come and teach the body of Christ, intimacy, how to walk with God, and to train them as the Lord teach me. Doesn't mean I know it all. No man knows it all. But whatever little bit I learned, I put a share with you and you agree wonderful you don't wonderful you love me great you hate me great that's where i'm at so beloved before i go on renting because i know i like to rent sometimes and some people say they like my renting sometimes anyway this is dagnet i am your prayer drill sergeant you can find me on youtube the uh the youtube channel is called warriors prayer boot camp i'm also on youtube the conservative blogger i'm the same person yes i know some christian will ask me are you a prayer warrior are you a woman of god are you a prophet are you a politician are you in politics my answer is yes thank you very much because my father god he's multifaceted multi-dimensional multi-personality he has multiple personality characteristic dimension multifaceted so why should i be one dimensional this is dagnet your prayer, Joe Sargent, and your conservative blogger. It's called The Conservative Blogger. Again, YouTube black my channel. The Conservative Blogger channel, YouTube. I put a video yesterday about Trump in exile. They took the video down, gave me a strike. I can't upload, post, or put anything on the channel for another, I think, two weeks. I'm so tired with this nonsense. These people in the censorship. I don't even know how I got on that subject. Anyway, I hope something I said resonated with you guys. Well, write down the scripture, please. The scripture for this week and the purpose is for you to meditate on that scripture that one verse every day for the next seven days and then pray those prayer points and personalize them every day for the next seven days once a week every sunday or every monday i will record a new prophetic encouragement and i will upload that so yeah, by the end of in one um by the end of the month within 30 days i will come back excuse me i don't know if it's my hair sorry excuse me about that um, I will have a, at the end of the month, I will ask you to help me with all the, to, to see if you're paying attention and taking those. That was all the scriptures from the beginning of the month. 
your scriptures plus your prayer points to see if you're paying attention. And if you pray then, it'll help you. If you don't, it's your laws. You understand? So I God bless you and I appreciate you and I thank you so much. I salute you. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe Warriors Prayer Bootcamp. Don't forget to subscribe The Conservative Blogger. We are also on Telegram. The Conservative Blogger on Telegram. I'm also on Rumble. The Conservative Blogger on Rumble. I'm on Facebook. I think they took the ban of Facebook yesterday. I'm not sure. On Facebook, the name of Facebook is uh, The Conservative News Network. I will try to see if I can change the name because I want to keep the name the same. The Conservative Blogger. But I really appreciate you and I thank you for sharing this. Thank you for subscribing. And if you have any suggestions, I'm open to that. There's no problem. We're not gonna, we don't have to fight. But let me know your suggestions and your comments. It's okay. Okay? God bless you and I appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful week. And I'm looking forward to your wonderful and fabulous testimony and, and changes and encounters and visitation and transformation as we go on this journey. Prophetic encouragement. This is Dagnet. Thank you. I think I wandered too long. What do you think? Uh oh, I think I stopped.